Hi, this is Rahul with PrivateRahul.com and first of all, a folded hands apology to all of you guys because I promised this video would be coming in the middle of March and it's already past the middle of April and I'm really sorry that I couldn't do this video because I was busy with the other shoots which you have seen on my channel. The ZX 10 r video took a lot of time to edit and then there was this other videos regarding the Pulsar. 200 RS and that crash video anyways uh, now that we are finally here the Indian gear kit review now last month when I covered the $500 gear kit review for this uh, American market or people who are in India looking to import gears from United States a lot of you wanted uh, Indian version as well within a limited budget now five months ago I did do a series on a few jacket helmets and stuff which was coming to around 15,800 for a full gear kit now that series had only uh, 1700 views so most of you haven't seen it because a lot of you did not subscribe to me back then and a lot of you have missed that series of videos so I'm just going to leave the links on screen I'm going to talk about all the other options which are available to you right now in the market so first of all we're going to look at the 15,000 rupee price point uh, that is the price point. I think you can actually get it between 13 to 14,000 if you choose the right brands and go for the right products. Now, uh, first of all, you're talking about a helmet. Now, LS2 is the most popular helmet in India, but if you're looking to buy an LS2 helmet, be sure to buy it from an authorized source like Amazon or go to an LS2 showroom because a lot of uh, LS2 replicas are currently being sold in the market. And that's why I, I tend to avoid LS2 and I prefer KYT because I've also reviewed that product in this channel and a lot of my friends are using it. Feedback from that has been good up till this time. And there's also this option of MT and other helmets which are currently doing pretty well in the market. So a KYT would cost you three and a half thousand. Sometimes they are available on sale. But the MRP is three and a half thousand for the KYT Pro and RC7. So uh an option to that you have LS2 and MT that is your basic entry level helmet starting point you also have stuff like Vega and Steelbird and stuff like that studs I'm not going into all that because I find uh, specifically for studs which I have one of them it, it's uh, the fit doesn't really um, go for with uh, most people's heads it's not very ergonomic anyways moving into the jackets you are looking at something around the 5000 rupee price point you have the Rhinox Air GT, you have the Zeus Arion which I have reviewed on this channel and you have the DSG Evo. All these jackets cost somewhere between 5,000 to 5,500 rupees. So these are your options. So you have a jacket at 5,500 rupee and a helmet at 3,500 rupee. Now moving on to the gloves, you have DSG Phoenix which is a very nice touch. You have DSG Primal and Carbon. The Carbon I have reviewed on this channel, it's, it's basically a track, I mean sorry, it's a touring glove, it's heavy duty leather but it has very little feedback so that's one of the problems with the Carbon, it reduces the feedback from the bike but it's a good touring glove. You have Primal which is more track oriented, vented and good for our weather condition, it's fully leather all these gloves, DHC Phoenix, Carbon and Primal. In other brands you have the Cramster TRG2 or something like that which is a full gauntlet race club claimed by Cramster India. A lot of my friends down south like it. I don't see it much being used in eastern India or northern India. But in southern India I find Cramster sells a lot of gloves. So I really like some of the features on that glove so you can also check. And if you're thinking where to purchase I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. You just concentrate on what product you want, don't think about where to buy, I will provide all the links in the description. All you need to do is uh, check out what I'm saying right now and later make your purchase decision and if you have any questions, uh, additional clarifications you need, you just put a comment down below and I will definitely answer it within 24 hours, that's my turnaround time for you. So I've got jackets, helmets and now we are moving into the leg protection. Very important, a lot of people skip leg protection. You should not do that ever. Uh, vapor knee protector from Alpine Stars. I've always, always recommended it. Three and a half thousand rupees. 
really good piece of leg protection from a branded uh, product like Alpine Stars you can't really get any better than this some local level leg protectors cost the same so why not go for Alpine Stars you get the vapor knee protector and this total kit price is only 14,000 rupees you do the math it's just 14,000 if you go for the higher options gloves and a little costlier helmet you may go up to 17,000 rupees but that's just it uh, we have managed to keep it down to 14,000 now if you're looking at a kit which is around 25,000 a little bit higher which I always say that you should spend 10% of your motorcycles budget on riding gear so if you're buying a motorcycle which is costing 2.5 lakhs like the KTM RC 390 for example you should spend at least 15 to 25,000 on riding gear so moving into that on that way you have helmets AJC entry level helmets will cost you 6,000 rupees currently they're not being sold online but you can contact any authorized AJC dealer dealer for that it's it's just uh, six thousand rupees for the starting range nine thousand rupees they go up to that with a little bit of creature comforts not much difference i myself use hac so yeah i know what i'm talking about lightweight nice helmets very nice fit for most people though some people may not fit into it very accurate to the size chart you can make online orders or get them shipped from another city it's not much of a problem if you go with the size chart a lot of you guys have been telling me I don't know how to measure my head size and it's done around the forehead if you do it around the forehead that the largest part of your head take one tape measurements that is how you measure your helmet size just want to tell you that and KYT also has a higher level of helmet which is around 7000 rupees some of my friends are also using it uh, for example my friend in Delhi is using it so he's liking it and one one real exclusive thing which I want to tell you is that laser helmets I've been following them online in USA for a long time I've seen their reviews online they have always been positive they were never available in India but uh, a few days ago I'm in Amazon.in I found that now laser helmets are available in India so if you're looking to spend 25,000 on gears I would definitely recommend you to get these laser helmets uh, from Amazon it's it's just great it has dual visor it has got a lot of features it's Bluetooth ready it's a high quality shell and uh, I'm really glad that they're now available in India so if you're not getting HAC you can get laser um, which is a very nice helmet as well so um, jacket for the 25,000 rupee uh, gear kit uh, I would go always with the DSG Genesis because I'm a big fan of their external hard part on shoulders which makes uh, you more safe in a crash it saves your collarbone makes you slide better on the tarmac and also gives you a little bit more protection on the shoulder hurting you a little less during crashes so moving into the other parts of the things like if you want to go for a higher level jacket you can go for the alpine star stranding air jacket or the viper air or the tgp plus air jacket all of this are reviewed in the channel you can click on the links on screen and get the reviews of those products so those are your higher options in the jackets if you're looking for buying some of the nice gloves because you have a higher budget and if you want street level gloves I always use the SMX2 Air Carbon Short Cuff Glove which is the world's highest selling glove from Alpine Stars. Everyone has one I think in the United States. So anyways these are the glove options you have seller from Alpine Stars and also uh, there is an offer on the uh, waterproof. Apex Tristar which will be very hand, handful in, in, in this uh, coming up rainy season so you can get the Apex Tristar if you want it's currently on sale in Amazon.com and uh, moving into the leg protection stuff you have uh, the previous option of Vapor Knee Protector if you want to beef up your protection you always have my favorite the Bionic SX Knee Protector or the Bionic the protector from Alpine starts 5,000 to 8,500 8 and you have the vapor at 3,500 so choose your things wisely if you are looking further down you can have a race boot which is going to help you in track situations or very high speed rides I'm using a Dynasty 
you can get the Alpine Stars uh, SMX6, everyone's getting them. Danny's is a little bit more costly at around 23,000 if you buy from India, a little cheaper in the US. Uh, so those are your options in race boots and if you are going to be serious about protection I recommend you add a little bit of a back protector. The Alpine Stars will come with a back protector uh, area compartment where you can put in a Nucleon back protector or a standard back protector from Alpine Stars only 3000 rupee if they go up to a very high level race level C to certify back protectors which cost a lot more obviously and offer you a ton of protection but um, you should add a back protector basic level back protector inside your jacket if you're buying Alpine Stars because the standard jackets have foam back protectors and if you're buying from Indian jackets good thing is that they already come with a C level back protector which is built into the price so you're good to go as soon as you buy them for the GST Genesis and the other jackets. Uh, a lot of people are using Spot and Helios and stuff. I am not mentioning them because I've not reviewed these things. So my GoPro just ran out of battery and uh, thanks for watching and I have to help you out with a lot of more content. I try to make these videos for you every week so now would be a very nice time to uh, click right here and subscribe to us on the channel and I would really really appreciate you if you subscribe and I will try to make better videos to uh, serve you better and help you better and also review all the motorcycles and your subscription does help because uh, when you guys subscribe uh, we get more opportunities to review more products review more motorcycles that means uh, we can give better content out to you if you like our content, subscribe to us and like this video, share this video in Facebook and stuff. It really helps us and uh, when we grow, we provide you better content. So, Thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me so patiently. Uh, this is Raul and I'll see you next time and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.